In three, two, one. Hi, I'm Michael Farabee for Restomod Mics and Restomodmics.com. It's been a while since we've been on the tube. We had to move our shop, and uh, I'm in a different building now, and a lot of things like that. Um, but we wanted to share uh, this microphone with you. This is a Western Electric 1142. Uh, it's an RA model, and um, very much, uh, I mean, this is the first time we've ever had one of these in here, so. And uh, it needed a new ribbon and stuff like that, it needed new silks in it. And we got everything finally finished in it, and uh, we didn't paint this one. Uh, it was already painted, and it's not an original paint job, I can tell you that. But it still looks great, and um, this mic normally hangs upside down the other way. But we wanted to demo the model looking the best we could for right now. And, and it's black, and the lighting's probably not really great in here, but we're trying to get everything settled back again. And this is uh, this goes to a customer named uh, Shimbi, I think, and, and he is in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, he has studio, and he does a lot of recording and audio and stuff like that as well. So we're trying to get everything finally set back up in here. and But we're pretty proud of this one. And uh, it's uh, he has, I think, some more, and maybe he'll get us to do the other ones. I don't know. That's up to him. Um, but we're uh, we're happy to just have this one come through because we've never had one of these in here. And to be honest with you, it's essentially a um, Western Electric Altec, Altec 639A. It's just got a different frame and body on it uh, or head basket on it. If you take this body off of here, you'll see the actual bottom of a 639A mic, uh, Altec Western Electric. So... It's the same thing, laid out the same way, uh, inside. Um, don't know how many of you cats have ever seen one apart, but we've done a bunch of them. And I think that, I think we're the only ones that are doing any of these Altex now and recreating and doing a lot of stuff with them. So, and, uh, this mic weighs about four pounds. So not a, uh, not a light creature for sure. And it does hang upside down the other way you know, by a yoke. And there's no yokes about it. It's very heavy, and a lot of them have fallen through the years. And so this one survived pretty good, I think. So anyway, it sounds really, really nice. And um, if you sang on it, it'd be like, Oh, Lord, my God, when I an awesome wonder Consider all the worlds thy hands have made So it's the way it sounds. It's... It came out really smooth. We put a thinner ribbon in here and uh, has more response and you get the tss, tss, and you get the lot of lows and things here. So um, we're running it with just the ribbon on and um, you can set this one the other way where you've got the uh, dynamic element in here, but it those never really sounded that great. And we're just showing you what we did. The dynamic element works fine. All the switches um, on the mic works to go work so that you can have either or or whatever configuration you want but the mic totally works now and is a beautiful thing so anyway i am michael Fairby with rest of mod mics you guys have a great day and god bless we'll see you next time on the tube and cut